Hey everyone, how's it going? So, I got this request a long time ago, and it's taken me a while to get on it, but I'm finally ready to start this. So, I'm going to show you guys how to draw a lightning version of Godzilla. So, to start off with this, we're going to begin with the eye. So, we're going to start right up here in the top, and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down and then kind of curve back like this. Then I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of go down and then connect up to here for like an angry looking eye. Then right here I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve back. And then right here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go up and then it's just going to kind of curve down for the mouth. Then right here I'm just going to make a line that's just going to go down. And it's going to kind of curve up and then come back down. And then for the bottom of the mouth, I'm going to draw a line. It's going to curve. It's going to go down like this. And then just kind of come back around here. Then I'm going to make a little curved line right in there. And then I'm going to draw some sharp teeth in here on the top and on the bottom. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of go back, go down, and then come back. And then I'm going to do that going all the way down here just to give it some texture. Then starting here, I'm going to just draw this line. I'm going to make it go up a little bit. And then it's going to come down. And then I'm just going to curve this around here. Just to kind of make the back and the tail. And then I'm going to make it kind of pointy at the end. And then just kind of curve this back and make it get wider and wider the closer it gets towards the body. Now starting right here, I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of go down and then curve to here for the neck. And then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down to about here. And then I'm going to make the hand. So right here, I'm going to start the arm to make a line that just goes down. Then I'm going to make another line that's just going to kind of curve down like this. I'm going to make a line that's just going to go down. I'm going to make it just kind of pointy for one of the claws. I'm going to start here and draw another one that's really pointy. And then I'm going to kind of curve this one back and make it pointy as well and curve here to show where the hand is. Then right here I'm going to draw a line that goes back but as I come back I'm going to make some little points in it like this. And I'm going to do this all the way up the arm until I get to right about there. Then I'm just going to connect this line to the arm. And then I'm just going to draw a little line down here. Now, he's got those big legs on him. So starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go down to here. And then I'm just going to curve it to here. His feet really kind of almost remind me of like an elephant if they had sharp claws. So I'm just going to go out a little bit and then kind of curve back. I'm going to put a smaller one right behind here. And then I'm going to put another small toe right here. Then I'm just going to curve this line up and I'm going to bring it in. And then make a big curved line right here. And then we can just connect the tail. And I'm actually going to make this tail a little bit fatter right here. Just bring it down here. Then I'm going to add two little curved lines on here. And then I want to put another leg back here. So. Starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down, and then it's going to go to here. 
make a little line that goes down. It's going to come back and then kind of curve up. And then I'll put a little curved line for the toe and then another little toe right there. Now, so we have just kind of like a basic shape of this Lightning Godzilla, but we want to actually make it look like it is a Lightning Godzilla and not just a normal one. So, we want to start adding some of the details onto here. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to add the spikes and that's going to help us kind of give it a little bit of a lightning effect. So I'm going to start out like the traditional Godzilla and I'm just going to make some kind of like spikes. But I'm going to make these a little bit pointier and kind of like zigzaggy a little bit. So as I go down on here, I'm going to make these, you know, really kind of pointy. I'm going to kind of keep them a little bit closer together. And I'm going to make them kind of long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up, kind of down, up, down, like this. Just so they have kind of like a little bit of like a lightning bolt look to them. I'm going to just kind of do this all the way down here. You can do them different sizes and different shapes. But as long as they're just really pointy, have some zigzags, I want them to have like a nice long point at the end. And I'm just going to kind of do this design pattern all the way down. And as I get along the tail, I'm going to slowly make this, you know, make these a little bit smaller. And just kind of make them just little, you know, pointy lines. Going down the tail and everything. Just like this. Now, I can always put some more behind here. Just, you know, more little kind of lightning bolt shapes. Kind of put maybe a few in here as well. Kind of a couple around there. Now, right along here, I'm going to put a couple more, like, smaller ones, too, just to kind of show that he's got, like, different rows of them that are kind of, you know, growing all over the place. Just kind of put some of these all along here. Now, I'm going to put some of these kind of like little pointy kind of lightning bolt shapes on his arms as well. And now we want to start adding some more of the details. So I'm going to move a little bit faster through this part. So the first thing, I'm just going to kind of curve up his jaw right here. And then I'm going to add a little line right here for his nose. Make it a little bit darker right where his nostril would be little kind of curved lines underneath his eye. Make some kind of broken lines right around the top and bottom of his mouth for like kind of like where he'd have lips. I'm gonna add some little curved broken lines right along the neck area. And I'm gonna add kind of like a little zigzag pattern down the, his body just to kind of separate the top of his body from the tail. It kind of reminds me of almost like what you'd see on a great white shark or something. And I'm just doing that just so we can kind of do some different colors in here. I'm going to add a couple more little lines right around his eyes and his head. Some extra little lines just around here just for some details. Extra lines right around his nose. I'm going to put some little lines with some little spikes on them going down his body here. And just kind of add some extra lines. Put some extra curved lines right around his arms and everything. I'm not going to give him actually like defined claws because I want this to be kind of like, look like it's one big piece, kind of like electric. I'm actually going to add some spikes on his chin as well. And I'm going to add some curved lines onto his chest. Some kind of curved lines on these little spike shapes that I have. And then just some extra lines around here. He's going to add some curved lines right around his legs as well at the top and the bottom of them. Some lines here. Some extra curved lines on his toes. Add some little kind of crazy line patterns going down here. Just kind of break up some things. Add some extra little curved lines here. 
And then just some extra little lines right around here. Some curved lines right on the tail just to show like some texture. And then just some more kind of broken lines right around here. Do some more lines on these toes as well. Put some lines on the claws. And then just some extra lines on the legs and the body. And then just some more around here. Put some lines on the mouth. Extra little lines here. Put some going down here. I'm going to put some curved lines at the bottom of the tail too, just to kind of give it a little bit more texture to it. Some lines kind of coming around here. And I feel like he needs like some kind of like little crazy spikes on his head too. Yeah, I like that. Just kind of give it a uh, little more of like a lightning feel. And there you go. There is your drawing of a lightning Zilla. There's lots of other things you guys could add to this, do some different things. It might even look kind of cool if you guys put like a little lightning bolt shape on the end of his tail. But there you go. There is your drawing. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.